Hello, my friends, Ryan here from Electric, and today we're talking about this articulating T800 head. Welcome to Electric, where I bring you electronics for the electronic freak. If you would like to print this model yourself, there is a link to the Thingiverse page in the description below. This model comes with six files, but you only need to print four. There are two versions of the main portion of the head and the next stand piece. I used version two of each. These pieces were printed on an unmodded ANET A6 printer with Hatchbox PLA filament. This model was sliced using Simplify 3D. If you have questions about what settings I used, please check out the article at forum.electric.com. There is a link in the description below directly to the article about this video. I began finishing the model by sanding down any inconsistencies left by the support structure. After a ton of sanding, I grabbed my drill to widen the screw holes on the model to better fit the screws I was using. After I got all the parts to fit the best I could, I moved on to assembly. There was a seam left on the print that I tried to remove with sanding. After the first primer coat, it was on to more sanding. The seam was still too prominent for my liking, so I tried to cover it up with Mod Podge. After a final inspection, it was on to do the rest of the painting. Some of the issues I ran into while printing this model were some minor shrinkage on the areas where the head comes together. The head back and the head shrunk at the seam, but this may be a product of the filament or how my printer was set up at the time. This was not something I spent time trying to solve. I did try adding Mod Podge to the seam to try and mask that it was there, and it did not make a huge difference but it did help the top part of the head come together a bit more seamlessly. Admittedly, I could have spent more post-work time on fixing this seam, but I was not that concerned about it as it will mainly sit on my shelf for display until it is replaced, modded, or given away. I could have spent more time testing the seam pieces to make them fit more cleanly before printing the full model and avoiding any issue in the first place. I also decided to try to print the base on a raft and ended up having a delaminating issue while removing the base from the raft. I could have filled this with Bondo or epoxy to cover up the mistake, but since this was on the bottom of the model, I chose against it. I do dislike some of the things about the model. Some of the details compared to the actual movie prop are missing. One key thing for me is that the CPU compartment is missing on the front right part of the skull. Kind of like the modeler used the mirroring function, but did not finish adding in actual details at the top right part of the head. I also wish that the teeth had a bit more detail like the movie prop. This is one reason I did not go through the trouble of painting them white. I also wish the model was a bit more rounded off on some of the edges. In its current state, it does kind of look polygonish. Some of the things I love about this model are that the eyes are already modeled with holes for LEDs. I also like that this model is held together with some hardware that makes it easy to take apart and add electronics later, or change the electronics in it at a later date as well. With the holes and the compartment inside the model, 
I can drill out the holes to make a pass through to the internal compartment and add LEDs at a later date. I also like the level of detail in the model and the T800 stamp on the base. It makes it look like a part of a scientist's collection of prototypes. Admittedly, my paint job on it doesn't. But if you pour a little bit more elbow grease into this model than I did, you could come out with a pretty awesome showpiece. If you like this video, hit that like button. If not, you know what to do. Make a comment down below if you have any comments on this video or any content suggestions for future videos. Get subscribed if you're not already and get that bell on if you never want to miss an upload. We're now uploading a new video every Friday at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.